Chapter 15 The Western Lands 7.32 a.m. Tom and the crow made a strange breakfast of nuts and water. Then they went back to the main road and continued to walk westward as Tom's shadow stretched along the road in front of them. They soon reached a road sign that pointed in the direction of snoring some five leagues distant. Look, said Tom, that's the way. When they reached the village, Tom saw that it was a sleepy little place with just a few fat thatched houses built around a green, a dock pond and an inn. Some happy ducks swam on the pond, but there was no one about in the little high street. The old inn was called the Briar Rose and a man was sat outside sweeping the doorstep. The crow flew off, settled near the pond and chatted to the ducks while Tom approached the landlord of the Briar Rose. Good morning, sir, said Tom. Morning, young fellow, said the landlord, resting his broom for a moment against the porch and brushing his hands on his apron. I wonder if you could help me. I am looking for a traveller who might have stayed here recently, Tom asked politely. Hmm, lots of travellers pass through here, my good lad, said the landlord. This would be a very tall young man with broad shoulders. He might have had a circular shield and a sword like this. He gestured to his own sword and scabbard, which were tucked under his cloak. Plenty like that. They have armour, helmet, shield, sword, you name it. We get all sorts through here. It's that sort of place, said the landlord, stroking his chin thoughtfully. His name was Jackie, said Tom. Jackie, Tommy, Dickie, Harry. We get them all here on account of... The landlord suddenly stared at Tom's packstaff. Tell a lie, he said. There was someone here called Jackie. He carried a bundle wrapped up in that very same cloth with that same pattern on it. Those hearts, he pointed at Tom's staff and bundle. Big young lad he was, broad shoulder, a proper nice adventurer, a real prince and very generous with his ale in that snug bar as well. Where did he go? Tom asked. He went off to the enchanted castle. He left very early some days ago. But he still took the time to enjoy one of my wife's fine breakfasts. The landlord nodded his head and smiled. Ah, oh, yes, a real royal gentleman. Very pleased with that breakfast he was too. He never came back, mind. He left his cloak and all, but we haven't seen him since. Please, sir, could I see his cloak? He was one of my older brothers, you see, and I'm on an adventure mission, a quest to find them. I don't know, said the landlord, thinking for a moment. Mind you, you seem a nice enough lad, and you are sporting the self-same bundle cloth as that prince. You best come along with me then. The landlord ushered Tom into the inn. It was dark inside the bar, as the shutters were still closed over the windows. You wait here, said the landlord. The crow scampered in through the open window and sat up on Tom's shoulder. Jackie was here. Tom whispered, travelling as a prince, he went off to an enchanted castle. Enchanted, said the crow. Then the landlord came back with Jackie's cloak and the crow shut up quickly. Friend of yours, said the landlord. Yes, he's very tame, said Tom. I raised him from an egg. Well, well, said the landlord. The things you see in this game, nothing whatever surprises you after a while. Here's the cloak then. It was Jackie's all right. Nice wolf fur collar, the landlord said, peering over Tom's shoulder. I'll take this with me, if I may, sir. Now you said something about an enchanted castle. Get ready for chapter 16 next.